Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. My name is Todd and today we're going over a Taramps MD8000 that uh, came in for repair. So the first thing I'd like to point out is just please be cautious about the voltages that are available on the power supply. Um, the rail voltages on these are high enough to give you a very serious shock so please be aware of where your fingers are at on these boards if you are powering up the power supply so i have gone through and done my measurements across the uh, power supply transistors and the output transistors and so far i don't see any shorts what i did find though is really common um, i see this on a so far in a lot of the tar amp boards that are repair is you'll have broken inductors so this one uh the inductor sheared off right at the board right flush with the board um just a couple things you can see on the bottom here there is a little bit of rubbing on the coil against the board uh, this depending on which coil it rubs against could be uh, very damaging to the output and same on the other side here is it looks like there's a little bit of rubbing going on uh, so what i did is i just repaired the wire of course we, uh, repaired the inductor made sure no windings were shorted together make sure nothing was rubbing together and uh, that inductor will be good to go and what i do when i repair these tar amp boards is I go around and you can uh, you, see, you can see where they have secured their capacitors. There's three primary things that I find on tar amps boards that uh, usually are a problem when it comes to the output. Is I've had these five watt resistors, I've had those uh, broke, sheared off. I've had the capacitors broke, sheared off. And I've also had the legs of these broke and sheared off. And it's always right at the board. So this goes back to vibration damage. Again, guys, please don't mount your uh, amplifiers on your enclosure. Uh, they're just, it's so destructive to your amplifier. If you absolutely have to do that, uh, please feel free to contact me, get a hold of me, send your board in, and I will go through and make sure everything is 100% secure you know it's not guaranteed that it'll survive the hybration but at least I can help aid in preventing the loss of components um, generally overall what I'll have is a, we'll have burn up power supply transistors burn up output transistors sometimes it will uh, damage the output drive ICs I don't see many problems with the input section. Not very often. It's more, it's always the power components. Or, of course, the components that are loose, uh, that are prone to vibration damage. So, I just thought I'd go over this uh, Taramps MD8000 uh, with what the fault was on this. Um, I'm not showing any shorts on the output. Mm -hmm. Uh, transistor so I do believe that the drive I see is fine but um, that I will take care of when I fire the board up the, of course the number one biggest problem was the output inductor being sheared off without that feedback this thing won't run so thank you for watching guys stay safe out there please keep your fingers out of the power supply and we will catch you on the next one